Welcome to the video. I'm PVS the tutor. In this question, I've got uh, a question that says elements x and y are represented respectively by the symbols x and y. We can clearly see there the numbers on top and the numbers at the bottom there. What do the following numbers stand for in these atoms? The number 10 and 20 respectively. What do they stand for? Now, the numbers on top there, they stand for relative atomic mass. Relative atomic mass mass or you can say it the mass number or you can say the nucleon number just write one you are comfortable with please don't write two or more four and nine four and nine what do they represent they represent the atomic mass the atomic number the atomic number or you can call it the proton number now give the period and the group for element x and y now for us to know the period and also to know the group we first have to write the electronic configuration of x and y so let's first write for x and for y here electrons for x are 4 so that will be 2 comma 2 Electrons for y are 9, that would be 2,7. Now, group, so period, is determined by how many shells are there. X has got how many shells? 1, 2. So this is in period 2. Y has got how many shells? 1, 2. This is also period 2. But the group is determined by the number of electrons in the outer shell. X has got 2 electrons in the outer shell, so this is group 2. For groups, you write in Roman numerals, not in numbers. Y has seven electrons in the outer shell. So this is group what? Group seven. Which element X or Y is a metal? Metals are found in group one and two, and those transition metals as well. But group two are metals, group seven are non-metals. So group what? Two are metals, and hence X is a metal. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe, share, and like. See you in the next video.